nearly 900 horsepower. Producing 125 kilowatts and 405 newton meters of torque. 670 horsepower. 800 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque drives the rear wheel. Okay, but what is kilowatt and torque? Hi, today we are looking at the one thing we have all heard from car reviews: kilowatt or horsepower and torque. First of all, don't get confused. Kilowatt and horsepower is equivalent to Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's just a difference in measurements. Most countries use horsepower, while other countries use kilowatts. So first, let's talk about torque. Don't worry, I won't bore you to death with theory. But torque is the amount of force an engine can produce. This force is used to move the car either from a stop or to help you overtake even quicker on the freeway. Now how fast it does this, that would be that would be the horsepower. Horsepower is the measure of how fast the engine does this work. So the two are related but not independent of each other. But the relationship between torque and horsepower is not linear. Each car can be tuned to favor one over the other. Take for instance a coal truck. It might favor more torque since it has a huge load to move at a certain point in time. Or for instance the Golf 8R. That can favor more horsepower since the person who drives it usually buys it for the speed. Hopefully you're less confused now. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more content. I'll see you around.